Hi everybody, thanks for checking out John Mead Web Dev on YouTube and make sure that you click the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos. In this video, we'll look at one of the many uses of the Intersection Observer API. The Intersection Observer is available within all modern browsers and we can use it to monitor how much of an element is visible or hidden. There are several different ways to use the API, but today we are focusing specifically on using it to display or hide a scroll to top button, which I have right here. So I've, sent, I've set up a simple web page that has an H1 header and then a series of identical cards which flex down the page. These are contained in the wrapper div. The div that holds my arrow icon for the scroll to top feature is last on the body, and you can see it here. None of this affects the way we initiate the Intersection Observer, but I wanted you to know the structure that I'm working with. So let's look at the styling that I've put in place for the scroll to top icon. First, I've created a simple pulse animation by using keyframes to increase and decrease the font size. And then I'm using a font awesome icon, so font sizing affects the overall size of the icon. The animation occurs when the element is hovered over and loops infinitely as long as the cursor is over it. And you can see that effect here. For this icon, I've decided to give it a fixed position so that it is consistently available in the viewport no matter my page position. Where the intersection observer comes into play is I don't want this to be visible if I'm already all the way up at the top. I just want it to come into view once I'm about 75% of the way down this H1. So let's set up our intersection observer. So we're gonna create a new instance of an intersection observer and we're gonna call it observer. So let observer equal new intersection observer. And intersection observer takes in two arguments. The first is your callback function which in this case is going to be called show to top, as in show the to top button. And then it takes in options. And we'll go over those in just a minute. Then I'm going to take my newly created observer and I'm going to tell it what to observe. And it takes an element. So which element do I want to observe? I want to observe the H1. So document query selector h1 it's the only h1 I have on the page okay so now we need to work with the show to top function and the options first let's talk about the options I'm gonna say let options equal and this is an object and there's different selections you can do here um, and it it adds to the power of the intersection observer, but we're using it in a very basic way for now, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this. But there are two options that I want to declare, and the first is the root. The root declares what you want to use as the viewport. So you could select an element as your viewport, and it would be the parent element of whatever you're observing. Um, in this case, I want the viewport to be the web page or the browser window. So if I set it to null, it automatically assumes it's the browser window. The second option, I need a comma there, the second option is the threshold. So the threshold is the percent of visibility that something has to have for it to be returned as visible or not visible. And it takes an array, so you could put in multiple different visibility points if you wanted to track that. In this case, I'm only concerned about 75% visibility. Because if I can see at least 75% of this, I don't want my scroll to top button there anymore. If I can see less than 75%, I want the button to show up so I can scroll to the top easily. So, 0.75, 75%. And that's all I need for my options. Now let's work on our callback function. So function show to top. And it's going to take in what's called the entry array. 
And if you were using multiple intersection observers, there would be multiple entries here. In this case, I'm only working with one threshold with one intersection observer. So it's still going to be an array, but it's only going to have one array item on it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tell it which div or which element I want to affect. So the element is document query selector. And I've given it an ID of scroll to top. And then I am going to access my array. So entry array. And remember, it just has one item on it, one object. And so that's the first entry. And on that object, I'm going to look for the property is intersecting. This is going to be a Boolean. So it's going to be true if there's at least 75% visible. It's going to be false if there's less than 75% visible. Or less than 25% visible, I guess, is what it would be. So true or false, so I'm going to use it as an operator here. If this is true, then I want to take my div and I want to hide it. So I'm going to go into the style, specifically display, and tell it not to display. Conversely, if is, is intersecting as true, I'm going to say div style display block so it should show up it should have gone into effect right there it should have hidden it or hided it hidden I don't know what the right word is so I'm gonna look over here failed to execute observe on intersection observer parameter one is not of type element okay so let's take a look here document query selector oh and you probably caught this as I typed it so it's not an ID of h1 it's an h1 element so right when I delete this everything should be right and this button should disappear so let's test it there it goes okay so now I'm gonna scroll down and if you watch once this h1 becomes less than 75% visible my button comes up so once I can see at least 75% again it disappears so there we go there's our hiding and our showing the very last thing that we have to do is just put the function on this oh, disappeared again so I just need to put the function on here so that when I click it, it actually goes up to the top. So I'll just do that really, really quick. Function scroll to top window scroll. And that's an object with the parameters. I want it to scroll to top zero, left zero. And if the web browser supports it, I want to just use the smooth scrolling that's included within the browser. Okay, and then we had to go into HTML and attach that. So function scroll to top needs to be on an on click right here. So on click scroll to top. All right, so now everything should work. Let's scroll down on our page. Perfect, it showed up. Now when I click this, it should go to the top, and it does. So there is an example of how to use Intersection Observer to show or hide a scroll to top button on your page. Thanks for checking out John Mead Web Dev on YouTube, and make sure that you click the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos.